pre-NFL picks. This is action here for Sunday, December 18th. I'm Tony T. with our NFL Pick Show here for Sunday's action. We have all 11 games for GMT. Just a couple things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Free NFL picks are updated all season long. We have tons of free picks on our channel, so make sure you subscribe and set those notifications. Also, if you would support our channel, like this video, give us that thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Then visit Tony'sPicks.com. We're a multi-capper site showcasing top cappers in our industry. Click the links to hot cappers. Get signed up to some of our long-term passes. You'll see some of our hot cappers right now, like Collins. Mindy's been hot. Uh, we've got Pravi as well. Sean, click the links and get signed up to some of our long-term passes. You'll find our press bets here at the center of the page. Each capper can release one best bet per sport per day. Many of them up there here for Sunday's cards. $15 premium pick. Each capper can designate one of their plays on their card as a $15 premium pick. Just in introduce their service to new and existing customers and of course uh, we have our three packs as well which are great value up on our site uh, we'll have a lot for you there on uh, sunday but some up there right now as we speak lots of three packs by the way seeing tiffany in, in action here mindy as well ben uh, so go ahead and get signed up in our pick ticker if you prefer you may purchase our picks a la carte with team versus team information there on the pick ticker our promo code is Tony T. You can save 20% off all premium pick batches when you use that promo code Tony T at checkout. You can access our page by clicking the link you see in the description, then click the All Cappers tab and get signed up. Also, love to hear from you guys. You can post your picks in our comments. We are looking for uh, cappers. You can apply at our site, and we we post every pick and every every show on our podcast, uh, Tony's Picks Podcast, available on all major platforms. Just search Tony's Picks. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this one started. Lions and Jets NFL pick here. This one is on Sunday. Uh, Detroit fullback and center questionable, a defensive end questionable here with linebacker out. A New York Jet, the quarterback uh, white out uh, as his receiver Corey Davis on a defensive tackle and safety questionable. Detroit improved to six and seven after that 34 to 23 home win to the Minnesota Vikings. The Lions gained 464 yards, 134 rushing on 30 carries. Detroit held the Vikings to under two yards per rush with 394 passing yards on 41 attempts. Jared Goff completed 69% of his passes, 8.5 yards per attempt. He passed for 330 yards and three touchdowns. On the year, Goff, a 65% completion rate, 7.5 yards per attempt. Jets fell to 7-6, a 20-17 road defeat to Buffalo. Jets gained 309 yards, 76 of it rushing on 22 carries. They did allow over four yards per rush to the Bills with 130 passing yards on 27 attempts. Mike White is injured. Ribs will not play. Zach Wilson comes back like a 55% completion rate with 6.8 yards per attempt. He passed for four touchdowns and five picks. Lions have won five of six covering all six of those games. They were competitive in that home three-point loss to Buffalo on Thanksgiving. The switch to Wilson, a kind of a massive concern here for the Jets. The player will be on Detroit at plus the one. Chiefs and Texans NFL pick. This one here is on Sunday. Tony, a, rec a receiver here, is out for KC, a defensive tackle questionable. Texans running back Pierce, receivers Cooks and Collins out, also left guard out. On defense, both corners are out for Houston. Kansas City 10-3 after that 34-28 road win at Denver. KC gained 431 yards, 89 rushing on 23 carries. Chiefs allowed 5 yards per rush to the Broncos with 214 passing yards. In, in this one on 44 attempts. Patrick Mahomes, 66% completion rate, 8.4 yards per attempt. This season, Mahomes, a 66% completion rate, 8.1 yards per attempt. Houston is 111-1 after that 27-23 road defeat to Dallas. Texans posted 327 yards, 114 rushing on 37 carries. Houston allowed four yards per rush to the Cowboys with 277 passing yards on 39 attempts. Davis Mills, 76% completion rate, uh, coming back from his benching, 8.3 yards per attempt. He passed for 175 yards and an interception. Season-wide, a 63% completion rate with 6.6 .6 yards per attempt. Third straight road game for the Chiefs. They have uh, failed to cover three straight on the highway, giving up 372 yards with 248 passing, 71% completion rate, 7.1 yards per attempt. The play will be Houston at plus 14.5. Steelers and Panthers NFL pick here for Sunday. Pick it out for the Steelers with a linebacker questionable. Carolina receivers Morris Chenault questionable. A safety is questionable on defense. Pittsburgh fell to 5-8 and eight 
with their 16-14 home defeat to the Baltimore Ravens. Steelers put up 329 yards with 65 rushing on 20 carries. They did allow 5 yards per rush to the Ravens with 94 passing yards on 17 attempts. Mitch Trubisky completed 73% of his passes with 9.2 yards per attempt. He did pass for 276 yards with a touchdown, but 3 picks on the year. Trubisky, a 63% completion rate with 6.8 yards per attempt. Carolina improved to 5-8 after their 30-24 road win at Seattle. Panthers posted 324 yards in, in the game, 223 rushing on 4.6 yards per attempt. They limited the Seahawks to 46 rushing yards on and, and 241 passing on 36 attempts. Sam Darnold completed 58% of his passes uh, in the game, 5 yards per attempt. He passed for 120 yards and a touchdown. Darnold this year just 58% completions, 6.6 yards per attempt. You know, Pittsburgh over the past three games, holding teams to 302 yards. Carolina in this period averaging just 294. The play will be Pittsburgh at plus three. Eagles and Bears NFL pick Sunday. Philadelphia starters are on offense healthy with a safety out defensively. Chicago receiver Clay Poole out with the starters on defense healthy. Philadelphia improved to 12 and 1. A 48 22 road win at the New York Giants. Eagles put up 437 yards with 253 rushing on 31 carries. They allowed 5 yards per rush to the Giants with 181 passing on 32 attempts. Jalen Hurts, he completed 68% of his passes with 7 yards per attempt. He threw for 217 yards and 2 touchdowns. This season, Hurts, a 68% completion rate with 8.1 yards per attempt. Chicago, they're now 3-10 after a 28-19 home defeat to the Green Bay Packers. They hit the bye week after the loss. Bears put up 409 yards 155 rushing on 25 carries. They allowed over 5.5 yards per rush to the Packers with 282 passing on 31 attempts. Justin Fields completed 80% of his passes, 10.2 yards per attempt. He threw for 254 yards and two interceptions. Bears defense getting torched, allowing 27 or greater points over the past six games. Past three games, Eagles averaging 29 points and 465 yards a game. Play here Chicago and Philadelphia over 48 and a half. Saints and Falcons NFL pick here for Sunday. Atlanta's healthy on offense and defense. The Saints tight end Johnson questionable on, on defense, the linebacker and corner questionable. Atlanta fell to 5-8 and eight after that 19-16 home defeat to the Pittsburgh Steelers that hit the bye week. Falcons posted 306 yards, 146 rushing on 28 carries. On defense, they allowed nearly 5 yards per rush to the Steelers with 197 passing yards on 28 attempts. Falcons switch to rookie quarterback Desmond Ritter here. Mariota out for the season, listed with an injury. Now Logan wins, uh, Woodside is the backup who spent this season on, on the Titans practice squad. Ritter has seen no action this regular season, but he did see extended work in the preseason through two interceptions in his final preseason game. New Orleans is 4-9 after their 17-16 road defeat uh, to Tampa Bay. Saints gained 298 yards. 66 rushing on 25 carries. They allowed nearly four yards per rush to the Bucks with 274 passing yards on 54 attempts. Andy Dalton, 71% completion rate, 8.2 yards per attempt. He passed for 229 yards and a touchdown. This year, Dalton, a 67% completion rate with 7.5 yards per attempt. Ritter fell in the draft due to his arm strength. Falcons have lost five of six on the road trip as they allowed 393 yards, 271 passing with 7.6 yards per attempt. Player will be on New Orleans, minus four. Cowboys and Jaguars NFL pick here for Sunday. Dallas starters on offense are healthy, a defensive end questionable. Jaguars quarterback Lawrence questionable, as is the right guards. Uh, the uh, on defense, two linebackers questionable. Dallas improved to ten and three, a twenty-seven twenty-three home win to Houston. Cowboys put up four hundred and four yards with one hundred twenty-seven rushing on thirty-one carries. They allowed three yards per rush to the Houston Texans with two thirteen passing on twenty-seven attempts. Dak Prescott, sixty-one percent completion rate with seven point three yards per attempt. He threw for two hundred eighty-four yards and a touchdown. Also a pick in there. Prescott this season, sixty-seven percent completions, seven point four yards per attempt. Jacksville, they're a 5 8 team after a 36 22 road win at Tennessee. Jaguars produced 
428 yards, 60 rushing on 25 carries. They allowed nearly 7 yards per rush to the Titans with 227 passing on 38 attempts. Trevor Lawrence completed 71% of his passes with 8.8 yards per attempt. He passed for 368 yards and 3 touchdowns. In his sophomore season, Lawrence, a 66% completion rate with 7 point yards per attempt. Dallas have a difficult time putting up a good 60 minutes of football with slow starts. Past three games, Jaguars defense is allowing 405 yards, 227 passing, and 7.4 yards per attempt. Dallas, two games behind Philadelphia with four to play, so no time for a letdown in this spot. Play here, Dallas, minus four. Cardinals and Broncos NFL pick Sunday. Arizona receiver Brown is questionable with a quarterback, Kyler Murray, out. Defense, a defensive end and left corner out. Right corner questionable. Broncos uh, quarterback Wilson out. Receiver Sutton and Hinton out. A guard just questionable. Arizona fell to 4-9 and nine after their 27-23 home defeat. Two England Patriots. Cardinals gained 323 yards with 113 rushing on 21 carries. Team allowed five yards per rush to the uh, Patriots with 225 passing on 35 attempts. And we got Colt McCoy completed 67% of his passes in the game, 6.2 yards per rush. He threw for 246 yards and an interception on the season. McCoy, a 69% completion rate, 6.3 yards per attempt. Denver 3-10 and 10 after that 34-28 home defeat to Kansas City. Broncos put up 320 yards with 106 rushing on 19 carries. Denver held KC to four yards per rush with 342 passing yards on 42 attempts. Brett Rippon in relief last week uh, completed 51% of his passes in the game. Completion rate just 4.5 yards and his, pa- his um, com- completion rate here 6.3 yards per attempt. The past three games to Cardinals defense allowing 5.3 yards per rush. Denver running for 4.8 yards to carry in this period. Play here will be Denver minus one and a half. All right, we got the Patriots and the Raiders NFL pick here for Sunday's action. Stevenson and receiver Myers questionable. Receiver Parker out. A cornerback on, is out on defense. Las Vegas running back Jay, Josh Jacobs uh, and his right ankle there is, is questionable. A right guard is out on defense. Defensive tackle and linebackers are in this one questionable with a corner out. New England improved to 5-7 and seven with their 27-13 row win at Arizona on Monday night. Patriots gain 328 yards, 103 rushing on 30, on 21 carries. Uh, on defense, they allowed over five yards per rush to the Cardinals with 210 passing yards on 41 attempts. Mac Jones, 69% completions, 6.7 yards per attempt. He threw for, for uh, 235 yards and an interception. Uh, Jones on the season, a 68% completion rate, 7.2 yards per attempt. Las Vegas, they fell to 5-8. A really bad 17-16 road defeat to the Rams, who were on their third-string quarterback. Uh, Rams on Thursday night here. Now the Raiders gained 302 yards with 165 rushing on 38 carries. Defensively, they limited the Rams to just over three yards per rush with 211 passing yards on 35 attempts. Derek Carr completed 65% of his passes and two t- interceptions. Carr has been on, on the year here a 62% completion rate. 7.2 yards per attempt. Short week here for New England. Uh, they stayed. They stayed out west. That, that means a, a loss to the Rams. But uh, you know, the loss to the Rams uh, uh, is is a, could impact the decision here. That was a bad loss that the Raiders had against the L.A. Rams. Uh, that can't. That I can't get that stench out of my nose here. The play will be New England plus one. Bengals and Buccaneers, NFL pick here for Sunday. Cincinnati receivers Higgins and Boyd are questionable with tight end Hurst out on defense and defensive end out. Wide receiver Julio Jones questionable with the uh, Bucks, as is a guard. A nose tackle and corner out for Tampa Bay. A linebacker and both safeties questionable here for Tampa Bay. Cincinnati, they're now 9-4 after a 23-10 home win. To Cleveland Browns, the Bengals gained 363 yards in the game, 136 rushing on 26 attempts. They limit the Browns to under three yards per rush with 273 passing yards on 43 attempts. Joe Burrow completed 54% of his passes with 7.2 yards per attempt. He passed for 239 yards and two touchdowns and a pick in there. Uh, this season, Burrow a 68% completion rate with 7.8 yards per attempt. Tampa Bay, they're now 6-7 and seven 
35-7 uh, a loss to, at San Francisco. Bucks gained 322 yards, 69 rushing on 19 carries. And they allowed nearly 6 yards per rush here to the 49ers uh, with 195 passing on 23 attempts. Bengals have won and covered 5 straight. And with the Ravens' bye loss, uh, a bye week here, uh, they have a temp, temp, uh, definitely a spot here. you got to look at them in this spot. Buccaneers have failed to cover 8 of 10 with a push. Past three games, Tampa Bay averaging just under 14 points a game. Play here will be Cincinnati, minus 3.5. Titans and Chargers NFL pick here Sunday. Tennessee wide receiver Traylon Burks out for the Titans on defense. A linebacker, safety and corner out. Chargers have a right tackle questionable on offense on defense and the end questionable with safety doubtful. Tennessee 7-6, a 36-22 home defeat to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Titans put up 364 yards with 137 rushing on 20 carries. They allowed under... Uh, in this one, they allowed under three yards per rush here to the Jaguars with 368 passing on 42 attempts. Ryan Tannehill, 66% completion rate, 6.7 yards per attempt. He threw for 254 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. Uh, this season, Tannehill, a 65% completion rate, 7.8 yards per attempt. Clippers improved to 7-6, a 23-17 home win to the Miami Dolphins. Chargers gained 432 yards, 82 of it rushing on 23 carries. They did allow nearly five yards per run. To the Dolphins with 127 passing yards on 28 attempts. Justin Herbert completed 76% of his passes with 7.2 yards here per attempt. He passed for 367 yards and a touchdown. Herbert this season a 67% completion rate with 6.6 .6 yards per attempt. Titans have lost and failed to cover three straight, giving up 418 yards and 340 in the passing games for 8.5 yards per attempt. The player will be on the uh, the Chargers playmakers that we said all healthy here. The player will be on the Chargers at minus three. Giants and Commanders NFL pick here on Sunday night. New York Giant tight end questionable on defense. A corner out with defensive end questionable. Washington starters on offense healthy. Chase Young and a corner questionable. Uh, New York comes off a 48-22 home defeat to the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, Eagles fell uh, Eagle, in this one. Uh, the Giants, I'm sorry, the Giants fell to 7-5-1. The Giants gained 304 yards with 123 rushing on 24 attempts. On defense, they allowed 8 yards per rush here to the Eagles with 184 passings on 631 attempts. Josh Daniels. Uh, sorry, Daniel Jones here completed 67% of his passes, 6.3 yards per attempt. He did pass for 169 yards and a touchdown. This year, Jones a 66% completion rate with 8.5 yards per attempt. Washington 7-5-1, a 20-20 tie. The New York Giants, as they hit the bye week, and this game was played two weeks ago. What, um, Giants in this one. Uh, Commanders put up 411 yards, 165 rushing on 36 carries. They allowed 4.5 yards per rush to the Giants with 182 passing on 31 attempts. Taylor Heineke, 66% 66% completion rate, 6.7 yards per attempt. He, he threw for 272 yards and two in, in touchdowns. Heineke on the way to a 62% completion rate for the season, 6.8 yards per attempt. Giants have covered four straight in Washington. Commanders have failed to cover three of four against the division. I'm sorry, that is the Team that facing Giants and field to cover four against the division. Uh, put, pop, putting up just 17 points a game. Player will be on New York at plus the four. All right, that was our NFL pick show here for Sunday. Make sure to like, subscribe, set those notifications, and be live with us to get the best numbers from the picks from our experts here on the site at TonySpeaks.com. And don't forget to visit TonySpits.com for our best bets on the board. Get signed up. Use that promo code TONYT at checkout. You'll save 20% off. All right, that'll do it. We'll have NBA and college hoops coming soon.